Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about steganography and one of the program which we'll be using in this uh, lab demonstration that is Steghide. So first definition of steganography is that that steganography is a technique to hide something into something. To hide something so we can maybe we might be trying to hide some secret message and to hide that secret message maybe, maybe we need something else like a picture or some audio file so it means in that picture we can embed or we can hide our secret message and as an example let's say here let's say this is a picture which we don't want to hide and we want to share with uh, with uh, with the users let's say and within that picture we want to hide some secret message let's say in that secret message we can have our passwords we can have some location information or something else which we want to hide so here i have just, just written some general in i mean sentences which i want to hide in this picture so steganography is a technique which will embed that text message into that picture so in that case Apparently, this picture will, will look like exactly the same, but within that picture, the steganography will be hiding our text information. So here, we will be implementing our, we, for demonstration, we will be using this program that is Steghide. So Steghide is a steganography program that is able to hide data in various kinds of image and audio files. So any kind of data we want to hide, we can hide that in, in image or audio files. And this sentence I have taken from their official website, which is here. So I'll, I'll share this link in the description section for you. You can go through all these uh, instruction, documentation, and download page as well. And now to demonstrate the stag hide tool, which is used for steganography. So I have, I'm using my Kali Linux machine and for this, uh, we are going to launch this terminal here and uh, with this click uh, we should have our terminal ready here and it may take some time depending on our speed on the speed of uh, our virtual machine or the computer so now you can see we have this terminal window in front of us and uh, to let's say maximize it maybe we can press on uh, control and then plus plus so that we can see the text what we are typing here this will be easy to see here so now uh, first we are going to update our system so for that we have sudo app get update that is the command which we are using to update our Kali Linux machine it's asking for password and with this password you see this has started uh, updating the Kali Linux machine and after some time we can start installing this stake high tool in our Kali Linux machine now the update process for this Kali Linux machine is complete and now to use this stack hide let's say I'm going to type stack hide this is the spelling for that uh, program which we'll be using it says that uh, we don't have a stack hide uh, not found but can be installed with the sudo app install stack hide so yes we say that uh, yes we want to install it and we type Y and now you can see it has started installing it do you want to continue we say yes we want to continue and you can see this is showing us the installation process for stack hide and program which we'll be using to hide our secret information in picture so we can also use audio file but for this demonstration we are using that picture so now you can see this uh, this is complete the installation for stack height uh, tool is complete and if we write stack height now and press enter you can see it has given us some information that's maybe i need to maximize it so stack height this is version 0.5.1 and then this is some help um, about the use of a stack height we can go through this one so let's say this em embed is a keyword which is used to embed data then we have extract keyword which is uh, used to extract data which we'll be showing now and we also we have info that is displays the information about a cover or a stego file so these are some of the things here and which we can which, which which can be very much helpful for us and now for demonstration i have two files which are there in my uh, downloads folder of kali linux machine we are going to click on home key and then we click on downloads folder 
and downloads folder we have the picture which I showed you before so let me see yes this picture is there and for the text message uh, we have this message which we'll be using and uh, to embed so you send message and you can have any message like you can have password you can have your location information you can have some anything you can have this here so that is means that is something which you consider as a secret and you want to hide that information into this image so now we have both of the files required for our demonstration so now we go back here in our terminal window and in this terminal window first we are going to our folder or the directory where we have these uh, files so we have these files in our downloads folder so first i'm going to downloads folder and download folders if i use ls command then it can show us this image file as well as this secret file so now both of the files are ready now we want to embed that secret file or the secret message into this image file so for that we have to use this keyword that is stack hide and after stack hide we have to use keyword that is embed e -M -B -E -D, embed and then we have to use uh, dash cf for cross file and in cross file we have sorry cover file cover file and the cover file we have to give the name of the of our cover file that is image.jpg and then we have to give the uh, name of embed file after keyword ef and then we have to give the name that is secret as e c r e t so that is the message or the that is the file which we want to embed there and then after this command if we press enter it will be asking for some passphrase it means now this will be embedding those files and after embedding it is asking us for password so that it will be password protected as well if someone wants to extract it then they also need to have password as well so for, for password let's say at the moment i'm using really uh, which is never recommended in that case but I'm using one two three four five six and press enter and again I'm using that words one two three four five six and press enter and after giving password you say that embedding secret in this image file is done it means now secret file has been embedded in this image file right so if this has been embedded then we can go to our download folders and in download folders let's say we can remove this file how to remove it let's say i'm going to use again this command here so that will be rm and we say remove as e c r e t we want to remove this file because we don't need we already have that file embedded in some other file so now you can see that file is gone secret file is gone and we have only this image left and if you open this file again you can see we we don't realize that there is something embedded in this file but yes that text file has been embedded in this image and now we can send this image to anyone or this image if is if even if this is on our computer if someone is going to open this file or this picture they will not be able to see or they will not have a kind of a feeling there is something embedded in it and now if you want uh, the information about that embedded file that is also possible so again we have this uh, uh, terminal window in front of us so first we go back to our download folders and in this download folders we can run that stack hide uh, command that stack hide info and then we give the name of the image file that is the embedded file so, and then we press enter and you can see it's asking that try to get information about embedded data we say yes by typing y and now it's asking for password let's say one two three four five six and press enter and you can see this has given us information about that embedded file and say that embedded file name is secret and this is the size of that file and that file has been encrypted using this algorithm and this is also a compressed file so this is the information about the embedded file which is image.jpg but now let's say if you want to extract so again if we show i show you there home and if you go to downloads we don't have that text file here now but if you want to extract that file then that is also possible so for that again we'll be using that stack hide uh, keyword 
and then we will use the keyword that is extract e x t r a c t extract and then we give the stego file with minus s f and then we give the name of the file where it, which is embedded file that image.jpg and then we press enter and it's asking for password we need to give password at the time of extracting this file as well the password is again one two three four five six and then press enter and you can see road this has been extracted and this after extracting that file this has been written to secret dot uh, i mean only secret so we could have specified a different name as well but we have kept it as by default setting so this has been written to um, the same file name and then now to verify we go to our downloads folder and you can see we have extracted that file from that embedded file okay so that was a simple demonstration of stack height tool the stack height program which is used in a stagnography where we want to hide some secret information in some other file so in this demonstration we used a text file which we embedded in the in the picture file i mean in this picture or this image file now there may be question that how this stagnography stack height is working so what happens in this case the secret message which let's say we in general we call that data so the secret data it takes that secret data and divides that secret data into some sections and those sections are embedded in our cover file which is in our case is a picture so it can embed those section of the data into unused portion of the files so that file in our case is picture so let's say in, in that picture this can be using some unused portion but it's not the case like say but these are some of the ways by which it's going to do that and it may be using uh, it may be embedding those portions in the files header fields and those header fields are used to describe the file and it can also embed those chunks or those sections of the secret data into metadata and the metadata is used to describe the contents or the structure of the actual data and this can also interleave those sections of the secret data with the contents let's say in some so our our picture is actually made of different pixels and those pixels are the combination of different colors and to represent those colors we need some bits there so some of the bits will be used to represent the color and some of the bits will be used to carry this data or to hide this data which we want to hide there okay this is the end of this uh, video on a stagnography and stack hide and uh, thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video this video content has been made available for information and educational purpose only and viewers are responsible for their own action.